नमस्कार आई एम अशोक व्यास एंड आई एम डिलाइटेड टू बी वेलकमिंग पद्मश्री डॉक्टर सुधीर पारिक टू दिस वेरी स्पेशल मच अवेटेड वीकली शो वेर वी टॉक अबाउट वेरियस इश्यूज एंड दिस वीक हैपन्स टू बी वेरी स्पेशल सो फर्स्ट लेट मी बिगिन बाय वेलकमिंग यू डॉक्टर साहब नमस्ते वेलकम नमस्कार एंड लेट अस बिगिन बाय रिकलेक्टिंग द इम्पोर्टेंट डेमोक्रेटिक फेस्टिवल ऑफ इंडिया फिफ्टींथ ऑगस्ट let's go to india first and uh, based on what you heard the uh, speech of prime minister narendra modi due to covid 19 uh, it was observed differently in terms of the core message of prime minister uh, of uh, atmanirbhar bharat uh, what is your response well i mean uh, first uh, let's uh, i would like to wish uh, everyone uh, happy independence day it is our 74th independence day that shows that uh, india is a very matured uh, and well developed country now economically socially and otherwise and that is a great uh, 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 pleasure for us uh, as a indian american who are living outside india uh, the com- uh, speech of the prime minister the main uh, uh, message was uh, to uh, tell the people of the india that we should be atmanirbhar means we should be self sufficient both uh, in the in the raw goods as well as uh, finished goods as well as we should be a hub for making the uh, manufacturing for the other country of the world and we should be a destination for manufacturing uh, of the different products uh, uh, and we should replace as much as we can uh, um, uh, uh, the that manufacturing hub which is currently is china uh, to bring it back to uh, india and because we have very skilled uh, work workforce we have very intelligent uh, engineers very smart uh, entrepreneurs and all this combination makes a, a best um, uh, uh, recipe for Uh, becoming more atmanirbhar absolutely and talking about atmanirbhar uh, dr pai based on your observation of india as well as your understanding of uh, india's potential and considering uh, the major uh, number of youths in india what sector do you see is likely to grow most in the coming 3 uh, 4 years i think uh, it will be <coughs> service sector as well as uh, because the indian pop, uh, young population is very educated population so it will be service sector ma- uh, healthcare sector as well as manufacturing sector absolutely and uh, now going uh, um, towards india and just recollecting the visuals of uh, 15th august celebration indeed it was different but the grace and the glory of indian culture was very much visible on the face of prime minister as well as his attire uh, you want to say something about his being particular about uh, the way he dresses up for different occasions and uh, about his safa on 15th august and overall uh, impact that uh, these visuals well i made. think um, in the history of uh, india uh because since i'm i was born before independence so i can say that um, i have i'm a witness of the whole history of the india all 74 years and uh, i think he is the best dressed well well um, not only well dressed but well meaningfully dressed and well appropriately dressed prime minister of india yet to see Absolutely, I agree with you. And uh, now you gave away your age, doctor, by saying that you have seen all these years. But you look much younger than that. Even Prime Minister Narendra Modi was born in 1950, and he is probably. No, I'm, the... I'm older, older than him. I I'm, see. I'm born in 46. <laughs> so, I'm glad you have also maintained uh, yourself by probably practicing yoga. Or uh, so. Before we proceed further, uh, give your secret in terms of how to stay fit and uh, active. well i mean of course um, uh, regular routine of exercise including yoga uh, uh, healthy eating balanced diet and stress free uh, stress free life in a sense that uh, always whatever doesn't matter how busy you are you must know 
or you must give the priority of certain things and and delegate the things to to be done by other people and that makes life very uh, without i mean uh, stressless and and that that is a recipe exercise good healthy food and no stress in the life makes and always be happy in that uh, and positive that that's a secret of the longevity and looking younger i really appreciate in very uh, brief uh, words you have summarized the essence and uh, here i'll just take a little longer on the aspect of delegation that also requires a sense of trust so when you trust yourself then you can trust others many times people stress out because there is lack of trust you want to say something about how to build trust well build trust is uh, there are two i mean the fundamental thing is uh, first you whoever you are working with you always respect them then obviously they will respect you and respect their opinion respect their thinking and and then uh, that creates a trust and uh, of course you also get vice versa in return same respect and same trust and then they will believe you what you are trying to uh, ask them to do, uh, carry out the uh, task and and that's how you built up the uh, uh, trust and if you continue that and 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 make them as a colleague i mean friends uh, and colleague rather than uh, employer employee uh, uh, equation more trust more trust uh, in, uh, in both the parties i should be talking about trust and uh, innovative approach and a sense of enthusiasm so connecting with what we have observed and heard from india due to covid-19 also uh, things are different and they say that 46 or 49% of people are uh, suffering from depression even in india i don't know what sample they took but this is quite uh very very some figure uh so what you said helps in that direction also but anything else that you want to add uh, uh, which would prevent people from getting towards that dark side of depression well because uh, always even though you are uh, stay home or you are uh, not going out that much always you try to uh, keep yourself uh, engaged with uh, your friends your relatives your social uh, uh friends uh, that way always you know, once you are uh, busy and active with the with the uh, your uh, social circle i think uh, uh, depression is probably uh, become unlikely absolutely so man is a social being and uh, you have been active with many organization fi being one let us talk about uh, the innovative or rather a fresh beginning of the way Indian tricolor flag was hoisted at Times Square, and you have been a part of FIA for a long time. Now you are also advisor, uh, I believe, of FIA. So talk to us about the whole um, event at Times Square to mark India's Independence Day. Well, I mean, um, this this was very uh, very great idea and concept, which which we carried out uh, under uh, leadership of a new team. Uh, Anil Bansal, Bansal uh, Ankur Vaidya, and uh, uh, being a senior advisor, we guided them uh, very nicely. Uh, and and uh, CG Council General of India also agreed with our plan, and that's why it's a historical thing happened that first time in in the in the first time in the life uh, we we had uh, our uh, Indian flag uh, was unflagged. Uh, I mean, uh, Indian flag was hoisted uh, right in the in the center of uh, Times Square, and as you know, that that is the best address in the world, or best known address in the world, and um, and 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 not only uh, uh, we did this thing, but we did in the midst of the pandemic. That shows that uh, um, uh, in midst of the pandemic, we we lifted everybody's uh, spirit, excitement, and uh, uh, and and uh, celebration of the Indian's independence by uh, doing all this event. a whole event in the times square and it was done very nicely very appropriately and it was appreciated by prime minister of india as well as all the people of the india uh, uh, having seeing uh, uh, 
flag flying in the center of the Times Square. And not only that, but that day, uh, iconic uh, building called Empire State Building was littered with the tricolors. And that was a, a kind of feather on the cap. So I think we, we did a great job. FIA did a great job. And I think we must congratulate FIA. And also we should thank the Consul General of India. He, he become a part of this celebration. Now going uh, towards your memory lane in terms of the many, many India Day parades that you have witnessed and have supported. This year, um, we missed uh, that India Day parade, definitely. How do you see was uh, this uh, Times Square event uh, as compared to the feeling and uh, excitement and enthusiasm at uh, India Day Parade? Well, I mean, there's no comparison. Uh, always uh, the parade, the excitement, the noise, uh, 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 the sound and music and uh, different uh, floats you can, and different ma uh, groups marching, all those things, it, it's, it's something like uh, uh, being in the stadium watching football or uh, some game. And, and, and that you, ca you cannot be replaced by uh, any other events. And uh, therefore, we missed this this year, but we have to respect pandemic. We, ha we have to be responsible and cannot have this kind of uh, crowd gathering uh, and have India Day Parade uh, because the same thing happened in, back home uh, in, in uh, well, uh, Red Fort. Uh, there was very limited people were sitting there, not like before. So um, that's the reality of the life. We missed it, but I'm sure uh, with the with the great uh, force and great um, uh, uh, fun fair, we'll be back next year. Absolutely, we hope that to happen soon. And now uh, moving towards the social media and uh, the call of Congress uh, leader Rahul Gandhi to Facebook India, um, allegedly accusing that it is pro right um, wing. Uh, Facebook India is uh, manipulating his algorithm and he wants some high level inquiry uh, to take uh, place in this direction. How do you uh, see the role of social media, whether in the context of what Rahul Gandhi is saying, uh, do you see there could there is potential of foul play here? Well, I mean, uh, social media has very important role in uh, any society. And uh, in any society, it has a very potential role of uh, educating and cultivating the opinion of the people. So the social media is a very important uh, tool for uh, uh, cultivating pe uh, people's opinion. And, um, but uh, allegation or accusation of uh, social media so, uh, supporting uh, one party over other, I'm not sure it is true and we do not have any real uh, evidence of it and therefore I think it's a hearsay thing and which uh, probably unless there is a uh, evidence we should uh, ignore it and move forward. So moving forward uh, looking at uh, the flood situation in India very briefly um, in different states uh, people have experienced heavy rains and floods and in Bihar also, lakhs of people are affected. Do you see in near future, we will have as we used to have some sort of uh, support uh, mechanism by NRIs uh, to address this. And I think due to COVID-19, the situation is not uh, being uh, rather reported properly and in, in general, you must have also come across many videos where you see unusually uh, high flow of water on streets of various cities. Well, I mean, uh, this is uh, kind of happening every year uh, somewhere in India, right? Because I think the basic problem here, uh, people forget or government, what government should do, they should uh, do the uh, correction of the in infrastructure. Because this is nothing but uh, you know level of the uh, area clogging of the clogging effect of the uh, sewer and all those things, so that has to be uh, can be corrected um, uh, by uh, redesigning certain part of the um, country where there is a it's a low level and there is a 
there is a chances of uh, collecting the large amount of the water and also they should also think about uh, putting more dams and con that we control the lot of rivers during the monsoon season which which can be uh, responsible for the flood and so this is a um, correctable uh, problem but unfortunately when monsoon is over everybody forgets about it and uh, government uh, priority is not that and 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 that makes uh, again uh, keep repeating this uh, situation almost every year so proactive approach is uh, recommended by padma shri dr sudhi parikh and as we conclude today's uh, uh, session uh, dr parikh uh, we have lost many important people in last few days um, this week uh, cricket player as well as uh, up chief minister chetan chauhan uh, passed away then uh, on 17th august in new jersey and sangeet martand pandit jasraj ji was very much a part of indian american community especially in the tri state area um your uh, tribute uh, your words uh, when you must have heard him many times and uh, right. any memories uh, yes uh, i heard jasa ji many times um, i would say that uh, we were kind of very close friends uh, because we met several times in last 40 years and uh, we uh, definitely uh, i personally miss him i'm sure community will miss him and uh, also community will miss all other uh, vip uh, uh, important vip people passed away like uh, mr chawan uh, and uh, and uh, 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 all those uh, uh, those who we lost in either covid or not COVID, non covid uh, reason we god bless them and um, we pray for them our prayers are with them their family and rest in the space and your parting uh, words uh, from uh, today's uh, this week with padma shri dr sudeep pai dear friends uh, again i would like to wish everyone happy independence day in uh, we should make our country india uh, uh, self sufficient kol atmanirbhar in socially politically and economically and uh, we we have cap capacity to do so we have half of the population is very young population well educated and so soon uh, we will be a world leader and will be one of the uh, first three countries in the world in in uh, economically speaking so let's work for that support our government and be part of uh, Uh, that whole process thank you god bless america god bless india jai hind